Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Future State, the next Batman issue one. And I mean, this is very interesting. We got a guy running in the alley, basically. He's got his face covered. We got like a Batman swooping in, kind of like kicking him to the side, beating him up a little bit. And basically telling, ripping off the mask that he's wearing, like the face covering and telling him I'm saving your life. And the police comes and they start shooting at him. And I mean, we find out that this Gotham that we're in, no, no one's allowed to wear masks. No masked heroes, none of that. I mean, they're not having any of that. I mean, Gotham's not playing around. And we find out that we're at the Fox residence. We got uh we got everyone there. We got except Lucius, of course, but we got everybody. We got uh, the kids are there. Uh, Lucius's wife is there. And, you know, I mean, <clears throat> it's, it's pretty epic. I ain't gonna lie, man. I mean, this gives me Bruce Wayne vibes, literally, man. I mean, he's just waking up uh, late and then we're thrown into a scene with uh in little santa prisco neighborhood and basically it's like a bane gang and they're just giving out masks and initiating new members and they're wearing all bane masks and i mean it's pretty sick and we find out that uh you know uh we, we we're in a hospital now and we see that someone's visiting their sister and it ends up being no one else but uh she's on life support well, well lucia's daughter is on life support and i mean uh, it ain't looking good for it, man. And uh, her name is Jace Lucius, obviously Jace. And uh, it ain't looking good for her, man. And the two brothers is just arguing. And I mean, you know, they going back and forth. And she's in a coma. And then we get kind of like a, a take of a battery, bat, like a kind of like a, what would you call it, a battering. And uh, it looks like that um, one of the GCPD officers is coming to check on them. And they're basically just talking about different uh, programs that they have going on. And they have a private army called the Peacekeepers. And, uh, you know, she, the officer says she never really cared for uh, people with masks and stuff. So, you know, and they're just kind of talking back and forth. It's kind of like a dialogue. I really didn't see much to it besides giving us information that we already know. They don't like masked people there. And, uh, you know. I, finds out that his name is White Taker, and uh, it seems the woman's name that's the GCPD officer's name is Chubb. So there we go. We see the Bane gang, they just kind of like chilling in the car, driving, trying to commit a robbery. And they're trying to basically do a drive by. One of the brothers stops the other brother, and then Batman intervenes. The car crashes, and I mean, it ain't looking good, you know what I mean? Batman knocks everyone out. And then we got the two brothers and basically one brother's telling the other brother, shoot him, shoot him. And he basically gets uh, Batman basically jumps on them, grabs them. Police comes and Batman pretty much saves their life. And kind of like the issue ends with someone walking in the alley being approached by the Red Hood gang, which I mean, I really love this issue. I wish we would have got more Batman and more kind of like the Lucius family kind of like dynamic rather than just like a mysterious Batman and a bunch of gangs. And then this comic is thrown into Katana and it says outside of Gotham and she's just uh, she's a wrecking ball. I mean, she's just shredding through all the security. I mean, she, she's really not caring. I mean, it's pretty nicely done, pretty nicely written. And it seems that she's bringing people outside of Gotham which uh, I guess we're going to have to see what's going on. Uh, we even have Signal there, which is really, really cool. And they seem to have some kind of agreement of bringing people. They were confronted by someone named Nick, and he's kind of like a mutant, kind of got these like electromagnetic powers. And, uh, you know, Katana is just making work of all his men and him. And he's kind of like shooting thunder at her. He kind of got these like thunder claps. And he, she basically... Um, fights him he knocks her out and he's about to crush her and all of a sudden lightning hits this guy nick and he gets electrocuted his system shock and it's no one else than black lightning but for some reason he's all lightning form and he tells katana he doesn't have time to explain to her and it's not important why he's that form he needs to she needs to listen to him and that's that's how that ends and i mean that's pretty freaking epic i'm not gonna lie and then we're just thrown right into another um 
uh, story saying continue in future state the next Batman number three. And I mean, I ain't gonna lie. We get to see Clayface. We get to see the uh, like Arkham Knight. I mean, we got everybody. We got Two Face. We have who else do we have here? I mean, we got everyone. Every one of Batman's rogues, or more or less, is in this team, and they're just running through these teams. And basically, that Peacekeeper project is introduced to us. But first, we're taken back to uh, Wayne Manners. When Wayne Manners, we see that everyone is kind of like together, organized, but there is no Batman. So it's kind of giving me weird vibes. I'm not going to lie. This whole little, this part of the issue was a little bit all over the place for me. They get Killer Croc. They beat him up. Killer Croc gives up. They take him in a hyperbolic chamber and heal him up. I mean, it's a little wacky. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, it does tell a good story. And uh, there we just got a dialogue and we find out that the Arkham Knight uh, character-esque looking character is actually a woman, man. That's crazy. I mean, she looks so badass. We find out that Peacekeeper has been tracking them. Uh, it has been tracking them everywhere they've been going. And then they're in the sewer only to be confronted by the entire team. And that's when they just start going through on Clayface. I mean, everyone is there. Killer Croc is there. We got a bunch of different rogues. And I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, that that's where the issue pretty much ends. And it's Future State, Arkham Knight, uh, Chapter One Rise. You know, I mean, it's a different little take. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't too big of a fan on this little part. I mean, it seems very dystopian future eskish you know and i mean we've seen a lot of that already so but that's just my opinion on it guys let's see what this turns into and uh let's see what the other future state titles uh hold in hold in store for us thank you so much for tuning in guys and uh can't wait to review and see what issue two has in store for us bye bye